Hey guys, so now um, we're doing a series of videos, right? Swordfish 101, and I've got a good friend of mine, doesn't swordfish, went on vacation, called me and said, you know, what, what do I got to do for swordfishing? And I thought, man, we really, this is not something you can explain over the phone in a five minute conversation. So we've got some videos, how to tie a bimini twist, uh, how to put the uh, wind on, on the uh, bimini twist. But now very important is, so now you're at the end of your wind on leader and how do you set it up? How we're gonna rig the bait up. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna have these little protectors. You're gonna have these little protectors and you're gonna slide it over. And what this is gonna do, it's just gonna keep a nice little cover on top of your crimp to prevent any tangles. Then the next thing you gotta do is you gotta slide your crimp on. Because if you don't do it in the right step, you're gonna have to take it all off. And it's very important, you gotta use barrel, ball bearing swivels, okay? The regular barrel swivels that you get, those are not gonna work. And it's just gonna cause you to get tangled and cause a lot of tackle failure. You're gonna go ahead and loop that on. And it's very important here, get a close up of this. Go to your, buy these at a tackle shop. We got these at uh, RJ Boyle. They've got everything you need for sword fishing. You could go up there. It's a one-stop shop. You can go and talk to Nick and, uh, and he'll get you set up straight. You're gonna slide it on. Get a close up here of this so you can could, you could see it. All right, and you're gonna pull that all the way on, nice and tight. Get a close up here of that so they could see it. Nice and tight. And then you wanna get, you gotta make sure you have a good a good set of uh, crimpers and we've got these these big ones and when you crimp it and I'll show you now here when you crimp it you can take a close-up here so they can see you do not you want to get this in the middle you want to leave both of the ends open if you take a look here you see how the line it's not squished there. If you do it too close to the edge, you're gonna put a crease in this crimp and it's gonna start chafing your line. You definitely don't want that. And we're gonna cut this end off right here. And then slide our little cover over the crimp and you've got this beautiful finished product right here. So now you've got your line ready to go with your barrel swivel so that you can rig your bait. Now we're going to take our eel and we rig these ourselves. This is uh, it's my favorite bait to use is an eel. Uh, if you don't know how to rig them, we've got a video on that too that you can see how to rig your own bait. But uh, if you're just starting out and you're, you're not ready to rig your own bait yet, you can, you can buy these Miami Fishing Supply. We sell our baits there. If you go to RJ's place, he's got an awesome variety of baits that, uh, that you could buy there. But you're gonna go ahead and you've got this. And so with the bait, we've got six feet, right? You don't wanna have too much line on your bait. Well, if you buy them, uh, rigged already you don't have that problem but six feet if you're gonna rig your own bait so that you don't hit this barrel swivel it's gonna come up to the tip of your rod and you can't reel anymore and you've got your swordfish 20 feet away from the boat you're gonna do the same thing with this one that you did for the main line you're gonna put your line through your swivel like so, you're gonna get your little, and if you don't put this on guys, your line is gonna start pulling right here. And you take a look at that. You, you get a fish tugging on this and you're tugging back up in the waves and this mono is gonna break right here. So you want it to be like this, it's pulling on the plastic, that's not going anywhere. You definitely do not want to lose a fish with tackle failure on something that you could have prevented from the beginning. Same thing, you're gonna slide it nice and tight. If you 
you don't have this tight up against the end of this plastic, it could spin around and spin out of this. So you want it to be nice and tight like that. And the same thing, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna crimp it. You're gonna come over here, you're gonna crimp it same way. You wanna leave space on each end. I'm gonna grab that with the camera so they can see each end of this. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and crimp it down. And you see how that's set up there? The end of this, again, is not pushing down on your line. Now this tag end here, you wanna cut it real close. If you leave it too long, this leader could get stuck behind it and it's going to tangle your baits not going to swim right and you're not going to go ahead and you're not going to catch anything but now guys i'm going to get a close-up of this so they can see here's your finished product you're ready to drop this in the water and start fishing